Hey friends and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another summer day in the life. Today is Tuesday, June 14th. I'm, um, anyway, I'm sitting out on the sun porch because it's so, so nice today. It's so cool. It was supposed to be, originally it was supposed to be 101 degrees today, but because we we're, we're having like a heat wave. It's supposed to be like in the 90s for the next two weeks, but today this like huge line of storms developed and totally messed up our plans for the day. We were gonna go to the pool, the first day to go to the public pool. Clearly we're not, it just opened eight minutes ago. Oh, I mean, it would have opened eight minutes ago, but they do not open in this kind of weather for sure. So uh, we are not going swimming today. But the good news is it should be cleared out by this evening when we wanna go to soccer camp. So that's good, get it all over with now during the day. And I love a cozy day inside when it's storming, except when I wanna to go to the pool. <laughs> You know, I always say I love the heat and the sunshine and this is what I mean like we get these pop-up storms All afternoon and then we it ruins our afternoon plan. So it's kind of a bummer, but you can hear it's a very loud storm It's not um, it's just like light rain, but it's really kept it cool today I think it's like well now they're saying it's gonna be like 92 this evening, but we'll see We'll see if that happens if these all clear out, but the plan was to go to the pool and we're not hopefully we'll go to soccer but uh so anyway welcome back if you are new here my name is erica if you've never watched a video of mine thank you for clicking on this video i hope that you enjoy it i just do a whole bunch of homemaking content vlogging things like that day in the life i am a weather watcher i love the weather i will always watch the weather so i like to share that a lot of you, a lot of my subscribers <clears throat> live in like california or arizona you don't get a lot of rain so you like for me to share my rain with you so <laughs> i thought i thought I, I would open my vlog out here this storm is coming quick and it is starting to really rain now okay we came in lightning is striking like that i don't always feel safe on the porch when it's striking like that but anyway welcome back it's another day in the life it's another rainy day in the life so um this whole week is supposed to be like hit and miss storms so i'm really really hoping we can get in at least one hopefully two pool days that would be really great um i've been we've been waiting because this is the week that the pool is finally open but this is what happens this is why i say i love hot sunny days in the summer because we really you know this is what happens a lot of times and we don't get to do you know we don't get to do what we wanted to do outside but that's okay i know so many of you all would love to have some rain so i am not complaining that we're getting rain because we actually need the rain so it definitely keeps things green and waters my flowers i have literally not had to water my flowers one time since i planted those seeds not one time because we always get rain we get so much but um I know so many in like the west are in like extreme drought and I have been praying that God would send y'all the rain because I know y'all would love the rain. Probably instead since we're not going to go to the pool I figured maybe I'd do a few things around here that I'm wanting to do. One of those things is I was talking about in a I think it was my last video I don't know one of the last videos I'm going to be actually painting these wood the wood trim around the windows. I put this wood up and actually think that maybe I chose the wrong color it's loud I, I am we're working on the pantry you know and so I stained some wood last night for that and I chose a darker color and I love it so much and I wish I had chosen the darker one for this but I put it up to this window to see if like I would want to change this to like a darker stain and I still think I want to paint them white I like the look of the white trim when I did this I didn't know if I would like it and after living with it for a month or two I'm just not crazy about it and so I just in in here like I love it in my kitchen but for these windows I'm going to paint these white and then we're going to put white trim take the old trim off of that window like we did these and then put the white the trim around these and then I'll paint this white too so it'll they'll all match and I just think it looks fresh and clean and there's my bright yellow light there we go um, you know I changed my lights to daylight bulbs but these dining room lights I still need to do but this window 
you know, it has like this trim that was here, you know, when they put the window in. So we're gonna take that off and just put the, the wide wood around it and it's gonna match and then they're gonna all be white and it's gonna be so beautiful. So I think maybe I'll work on that today. I have to wait till Marion can put the wood up on that one, but I can go ahead and paint these two windows. But I also need to do some cleaning. I need to like make my bed and oh, I've got some food on the stove too. I can't forget that. So I'm just gonna do a little housekeeping first and then yeah, then I'll get started on something because it kind of changed my plans today. So last night we had like, um, this is like the fourth wave of storms that's come through since last night. Nothing really came to us but like a light rain and a couple of rumbles of thunder. But they were saying we might have another derecho and we had one in 2012 and it de destroyed our city. So we were, <laughs> we were really worried last night. So Marion took the trampoline down and put like put it on the ground, just took the framing down and then you know, like moved our chairs and everything. And, you know, just trying to make sure that we didn't lose anything, but actually fizzled out. It didn't do a whole lot for us, but this one is way, way more than that one. But that's why my trampoline is laying on the ground. Anyway, I'm making Jackson some of these steaks. He loves these steaks from Sam's. And they're so easy to make, to throw in, throw on the stove. If you haven't tried them, if you watch my channel, you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, I'll show you the box. But they're awesome. And I just cook those up and put them on some sub rolls for him. This is what the box looks like. They're called Steak Ease. I had one of my breakfast sandwiches this morning and the I made I had one with the croissant and I made those in yesterday's video and or my my last video that you watched and I forgot to like say how to how to heat them up but I just literally wrap it in a paper towel that's the most important thing and cooked it on cooked it in the microwave for a minute then flipped it over and did another minute and then I did it about another 20 seconds and it was perfect and soft everything was great so those croissant sandwiches are like so decadent. <laughs> croissants, the Sam's croissants are so good, but I also made um, English muffin sandwiches. So I have a bunch of those. So, so convenient. I love when I am fully stocked with those. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, I need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark so why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen, yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow, yeah You never break, you never lie Never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah.
Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we too find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. to do the windows now uh, looks like the rain is clearing up um, soccer is a go so far so um, Marion's gonna take these down I guess we did this when we redid those windows over there so like I showed you it's just this trim he takes like a razor blade and cuts it and pulls it off and then we have a piece of wood downstairs that he's gonna or a couple pieces he's gonna cut to fit that but I'm gonna go ahead and take my painters tape and tape around these windows so I can go ahead and start painting those while he's doing that. Alright, so I got this from Lowe's, just the Valspar 4000 interior white. Um, I got this for, I always like to keep a can of white paint because there's so many things I like to touch up, but it was time to get a new one, so I grabbed this at Lowe's and just an old paintbrush. I started just a little section right there to see if it was going to look, look good. I'm definitely going to have to do several coats, but I'm going to go ahead and put you on the tripod and do this window and then when this one after I do this and I'll move this out and do that one
so Marion has been working on this. He's got three of them up and I have painted three coats on each window. I might need to do a fourth, at least on the facing of it. But that's wood just like soaked in that paint so much. <laughs> but I'm glad that the stain didn't like come through because sometimes like, if it's a reddish stain, I've had it come through the white paint before. Hopefully this would be, do good, but I'm gonna do a fourth. I don't think I'll have to do four coats on this raw wood just because, you know, it's a lot lighter. Okay, it's done. I'm glad to have that done. I pushed the couches back, but they're not touching it. I'll push them all the way in. But I ended up doing four coats on these. And honestly, they could probably use a fifth. <laughs> but four was good. It I'm, When it's totally dry, it's gonna, I think it's gonna look good. And in here, I only had to do two on this raw wood because, you know, it was so much lighter. And yeah sorry it's being drowned out by the light definitely brightens the room up which is exactly what i was wanting so i just sat down finally i posted a video today and i finally sat down and read the comments it was the one where i rearranged my living room the first one so everybody was so sweet in the comments so thank you um and so many of you said the same kind of things like about the dining room about the shoe bench about the Obviously the wood around the windows, you know what I did with that, but um, th one thing that I kept getting comments about, which I have gotten a lot over over like the years, people say, why don't I put like a balance, um, balances in my windows in the living room? And I just personally don't really like the way that looks in the living room. Like Jackson has them in his bedroom and I like them like in a kitchen window, but I don't know, for my living room, I just, I'm not, I don't want that. I would like to have long panel curtains, but having to have my furniture up against the window, you know, it won't work. And I thought about moving it out and putting like a little table or a ledge or a shelf behind them, but with the dogs like laying on them and I don't know, I just don't. This is just the look I've had. But now that I've painted them white, I love how open and bright it looks, but it almost feels like it needs something more. So I don't know. I do love the white, but um, also a lot of you said I should angle this against in the corner like I had it, and I did love that, but I don't know. For now, I think I'm going to leave it right there and just see. You know, I'm always changing stuff up, so who knows, but one of you suggested that I should paint or, you know, yeah, you suggested that I paint like my hutch and my shoe bench like a fun color and get like a colorful rug. I do love the idea of a colorful rug, but I love the um one that i have now and i don't want to spend a fortune on a rug that's going to get walked on and like we have so much traffic coming through here because it's our entryway and then with animals and so many people i don't spend a lot on a rug so i like the i like the look of kind of just carpet you know so but i need to get some fun throw pillows to may add some color but i do love the idea of maybe painting my shoe bench a pretty color like a bright color, but then again, am I even gonna keep the shoe bench? So I don't know. I don't know. Too many decisions, too many decisions. But right now I am making some chicken. I love these Purdue chicken cutlets. Lately, it's these, they're already packaged. I don't know, lately I've been getting those. It's better, to me, I like them better than like a chicken breast and I like them better than a tenderloin. They're just really good, and so I'm gonna make chicken Caesar salad, but we're not gonna eat until we get back from soccer, but this way it'll be easy to just throw a salad together rather than picking up pizza or something like we did last week, so just gonna get this done so that we can go, and when I also, um, I'm gonna make this fruit smoothie that I saw, like a, I don't know where I saw it, Instagram or Pinterest, I don't know, but I screenshotted it, and it looked really good and really easy so i'm gonna make those tonight with our salad so hopefully they'll be good this is my beautiful caraway skillet i love it so much i am um, they were so kind to send me a set of their cookware and i am absolutely loving it i mean of course it's brand new so it's perfect and 
yeah, nothing sticks at all, which is amazing. We are leaving to go to soccer but it rained earlier and I was like why is there so much water on my stairs but it's because I just sealed them if you saw that video I would say that sealer works very well <laughs> anyway I don't know if I said that earlier that we're gonna go walk the track while I didn't know if Marion was gonna come but he is um we'll walk the track while Jackson's playing soccer because it gets us some exercise I wanted to do like walking and running but they were saying it's gonna be so hot today and I was like, oh, it's only 82, but oh my gosh, it feels way hotter, don't you think? It is so humid. It feels way hotter, so I don't think I'm going to like push myself and run today in the heat, but definitely we can walk the track for an hour. my chicken Caesar salad like literally my favorite well it's my favorite salad but I don't know why I don't make it more often I always forget about it but it's so good so I walked two miles at um, soccer Mary did a mile and something and his hip was really hurting so he's sat but Jackson came home and promptly got in the pool he'll be eating when he's done is the door closed the gate closed I was gonna come out here and sit and eat, but everything is soaking wet because we got so much rain today. So, but I do need to fix these chairs and stuff. Jackson's having a grand old time by himself in the pool. <laughs> Marion would be with him, but he's watching his woodworking show, so. Look at my little plants growing. There's a few weeds in there I need to pull out, but this is, this part is doing really good. Okay, so this is the smoothie that I'm gonna make. It's just two and a half cups watermelon, one cup strawberries, third of a cup of orange juice. I don't have a blender, but I do have like a neutral bullet. So I'm gonna cut up strawberries and a watermelon and see, you know, if this is any good. <laughs> recipe is a little big for my little neutral bullet or magic bullet um, you know so I'm gonna probably just do it in half so like one and a fourth cups of watermelon half a cup of strawberries and then just a little bit of orange juice probably like a fourth of a cup we'll mix it up I actually might put some ice in there too just to make it nice and cold because the watermelon is not cold so hopefully I don't eat watermelon but I'm gonna try a uh, strawberry one and Marion will eat the watermelon Jackson might too
right, Marion loved it. And I might make a watermelon one for Jackson. Right now he's eating dinner because he just came in from swimming. I'll give him just plain watermelon because he doesn't like love strawberries. So that's why I went ahead and used them all for Marion and I. But uh, we have tons of watermelon left. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do these few dishes and then I'm gonna call it a night. It is after eight o'clock. It stays light so long, it's crazy. But I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for coming back time and time again and for commenting and for giving it a thumbs up and all those things. You know, I love you guys. I'm praying for you always and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.